Led by the Lombardi Foundation's reigning National Coach of the Year, Brent Brennan, the Spartans are loaded with talent in one of the most anticipated seasons in San Jose State history. Hi, I'm Bridget Howard here in the Mountain West Network studio with what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the San Jose State Spartans. For the first time since joining the Mountain West, San Jose State enters a season as the defending conference champion. The Spartans were one of just five FBS teams to go undefeated before the bowl season, capping off the program's best season since 1940. The Spartans are eager to continue building a culture of winning and the opportunity to defend their title. You know, we talked a lot about just having a target on our back and just how that, that part of it will be so different. Uh, we also have to play a 12-game schedule, hoping to play more than that, and we didn't have to do that a year ago. I say it a lot, but no one cares what you did yesterday. And as nice as that season was and special and wonderful in so many ways, 2021 is a new year, and no one cares. No one cares. Everybody just wants us to play well against Southern Utah August 28th. My goal as a leader is to have these guys have mentality of what's important now. And it's a little acronym, acronym you know, W-I-N, what's important now, and that's how you win games. What's important right now? Not what's coming up next week, but today. You know, our guys are out there, they're working their tails off this summer, and so what's important now is these summer conditioning and, and strength and conditioning workouts that we're doing. And then it's fall camp, and so I can't let them get too focused on what's down the road and miss what's right in front of them. Nick Starkle returns under center for San Jose State after starting all eight games, throwing for 2,174 yards and 17 touchdowns. Starkle, who ranked 19th nationally with 271.8 passing yards per game, led a Spartan offense which scored 30 or more points five times in 2020. His 453 yards passing and three touchdown performance earned him offensive MVP honors of the Mountain West Championship game. Entering his sixth season of college football, Starkle is confident his offense has what it takes to be exciting and effective this fall. Coach Brennan has been a guy that's believed in me since you know, before I even set foot on the campus, and he continues to believe in me and push me every day. So I'm very, very grateful for that. I think I really got to develop this year as a quarterback um, mentally. I uh, studied the game, almost felt like that sometimes during the week when we're game planning and stuff, like I was one of the coaches out there with them and I knew exactly you know, why a coach was calling a certain play versus not calling a different one that we maybe worked on in the week. And um, really just being an extension of the coaching staff is what I think helped me take the next step this year. Nick Starkle's a future football coach. You know, I walk by the office and he's in there on the dry race board with the young quarterbacks and he's teaching them and talking them through what they're doing. It's just, um, he does a great job of just bringing our team together and also at times pushing it a little bit, which I think is really helpful. The reigning defensive player of the year in the Mountain West is back in Spartan country. Cade Hall, who ranked second nationally with 10 total sacks, finished the season with 26 total tackles. His three tackles for loss and two sacks in the Mountain West Championship game earned him the defensive MVP award. As a three-year starter on the defensive line, Hall is the most experienced lineman on the roster, which features 11 returning defensive starters. The big thing is just not getting comfortable, you know. I mean, there's always room to get better and, and everything, you know. And I, I try and get better at things in my life, too, not just football, so that it's just a constant thing. Um, and I think, I think that's the trick, is not being satisfied, you know, with, with where I'm at. Everything with Cade starts with effort. He's incredibly technical, but it's his effort. It's that he doesn't stop playing. And it's funny, when we recruited him um, out of high school, that was the report, like, hey, you need to see this kid down the street. He's a San Jose kid. I mean, he's from right there. And he never stopped chasing the football. And at the time, he's a little undersized, right? When he played his first two years for us at like, I don't know, 220, 225, you know? And he was effective at times, but also it was hard because he was just getting moved around by bigger people. But he's developed, he's gotten stronger, and, and now he's just an awesome player. San Jose State opens up the season at home against Southern Utah on August 28th. Defense of a Mountain West title kicks off three weeks later when the Spartans travel to Hawaii to open up Mountain West play. In between those two games lies a trip to the historic Coliseum to battle USC. 
an opportunity for the Spartans to continue to showcase the rise of the program on a national stage. The history of USC, um, knowing how good they are, how what their personnel looks like, all of our players will be excited to play that game. And it's awesome, you know, a lot of guys on the team are from LA, I mean, it's all, it's just a very, it's gonna be a family affair, you know, and that makes it that much better. It's gonna be a great game. I'm really excited about watching this defense. The, the defensive line of Kate Hall and Fahoko and a host of others. There's probably six deep on the defensive line. You couple that with a lot of returners in the secondary. Jay Leonard should have a healthy year. I'm looking forward to that. Should be a lot of fun to watch that defense play this year. And then the easy one is fans are going to return this year. The Spartans played just three home games and then they played three what would be home games on the road last year. So now SEPQ Stadium hopefully will have some noise, some energy, some life and a team that's worth cheering for. San Jose State opens up their 2021 season on Saturday, August 28th against Southern Utah. From the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Bridget Howard.